it's Monday, July 27th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Rescuers have found signs of life from inside a collapsed mine in southwest China. Eleven miners were trapped in a tunnel after it caved in on Sunday in Yunnan province. Large machinery had been unable to work in the narrow shaft, forcing rescuers to clear debris by hand. Authorities say loose soil from heavy rain may have contributed to the collapse. Many Christian Kenyans attending Mass on Sunday rejected President Obama's comments on gay rights in the country. Obama had said that discriminating against gays was like treating people differently because of race. Uhuru is obeying the wish of Kenyans, and Obama is obeying the wish of Americans. And those are two different cultures. Homosexuality is illegal in Kenya, and anti-gay laws often have broad public support. Colombia has ordered a halt to airstrikes against FARC rebels amid a breakthrough in peace talks. President Juan Manuel Santos said the decision came just days after the militant group imposed its own unilateral ceasefire. Colombia and the FARC have been engaged in peace talks for more than two years to end the country's longest war. The King of Saudi Arabia's summer vacation to the south of France is causing local outrage. Residents are angry that a public beach near the monarch's villa has been forced to close for privacy and security reasons. A petition against the closure has gained more than 100,000 signatures in little over a week. But not everyone's angry. King Salman and his 1,000-person entourage are expected to be a boon for the local economy. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. No le creemos al secretario de gobernación, no le creemos al procurador, no le creemos a Peña. Este digo no le creemos porque mi voz es parecida a la de muchos mexicanos, ¿no? Y yo que estuve adentro del penal, te puedo decir que no es un penal del cual puedas huir.